do's and don'ts to being a good fashion assistant do do constantly research like no matter if you're trying to find a you know new designer you're researching fashion history you should constantly be learning therefore you can bring so much more to the table always be of service so many people you know assistants they want to what can they take like for me it's like are you being of service i remember when i hired my first assistant my very first assistant i ever worked with like what made me hire her in an interview is because she was just like i just want to be of service to you you know whatever you need whatever you need for the project like i just felt like i just really appreciated that you know i didn't feel like somebody was trying to come and like take advantage of me or like just dip out you know always be of service always always take notes and document everything one assistant that i worked with prior like what i loved about her is that at the end of the job when you had to wrap you know and give like the fedex thing and you know whatever all the returns were done i got a document at the end of it that said boom like here's all the fedex numbers all the tracking numbers this is where everything went is it everything, you know, whatever, whatever, like constantly take notes. Don't be in nobody's business that you're not supposed to be, but like constantly take notes. Like, okay, I heard the client say this, like write it down, like have it documented. Like everything the stylist, the lead stylist is saying, like document that, you know what I mean? So many things happen in a moment. Things can be so crazy that you always want to just be like, okay, boom. This is what I'm doing. Like, this is what we have to do. This is what they wanted. Cause I'm the type, me, I love to like rattle off ideas. And, and then I'm like, ooh, this, 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 and this. And the best thing is when someone can just put it all together in notes. Like, here, okay, this is all, this is everything we have to do. You know, it's all taken care of. And number four, like, always take initiative. Whether it's, okay, I see that we've run out of safety pins, or I see that we're low on tape or the client asked for this thing and I'm not, you know, I'm not seeing it or whatever. Or, hey, I just went and grabbed you a coffee, you know, or make sure that it's okay. You don't want to just be like, oh, I went and got this and I saved the day. You always want to run it past the stylist, but just taking that initiative, like, hey, here's the shopping link I ordered or here I sourced some of these things that I, I heard that you needed. You know, you always want to just kind of feel and appear to be helpful. Like, if someone has to tell you every single little thing to do, like, I could just go do it myself at that point. A bonus do is take accountability. Like, listen, nobody's asking you or expecting you to be perfect. Like, we just want you to try hard, you know, and try hard enough and well enough and pay attention. So if you fuck up, it's more than fine most of the time if you just take a take accountability for it and be responsible you know for when you mess up like that's that's important don't do not be self-serving like everything just being about what you can get so you somewhere still in contact list just on set networking with everybody stuff needs to be steamed don't be self-serving i mean like no one that's just not good anywhere you know in any industries so, and you see through you know but specifically in a fitting like don't speak unless spoken to no one wants your opinion like you never know in that situation like sometimes we be down to the wire like that could be the only option we trying to get them through this fitting child and you somewhere like mm. no see nobody asked you like like nobody asked you or at least speak in my favor as a stylist like come on you know don't don't just be now this one this should have been number one okay because don't take credit for another stylist's work like if you are the assistant I don't care if you called in the dress, you went and saved a day with a pair of shoes. Don't, don't, oh, you know what, well, it was I, I styled that. Or if you weren't hired to lead the gig, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. To me, that's literally the single handed, like most unattractive quality in, in an assistant. This next one honestly goes for any industry. 
Like, do not talk shit about your boss, your former boss. Like, just don't do it. Like, people are going to try to set you up. They're going to want the tea. Don't do it. If you say anything, like, because that means if you ran their news, then you could run mine. Keep your mouth shut. Now, I'm going to give you a bonus down. This one's a give or take for some people. But stop fucking posting on Instagram. Nobody wants a posty McPoster. Like, oh, you know, and then you barely tag the stylist as if you did it. It's all confusing. Your whole page is of other clients. Like, I know we're living in a in a digital era, but geez, baby, like, relax. That was one of my tips.